also very excited to introduce Grace Mitchell. She is currently a second trimester student in high voltage. She's from central Wisconsin, which might, there might be a story in how she got to HIT, and is pursuing her degree in the School of Engineering and Construction Technologies and is expected to graduate in the spring of 2024. She's a recipient of the PSO AEP Diversity High Voltage Nine Person Scholarship, and after graduation, she seeks to seek employment with AEP PSO, where she is entering this semester and become successful in her career, which I have no doubt she will do. So without further ado, I'll introduce Grace. Hi, my name is Grace Mitchell, and I am a second trimester student in the High Voltage Line Technician Program. I was born and raised in central Wisconsin. Growing up, I was heavily impacted by my dad's work ethic. My dad is an electrician, and I always admired how hard he worked to provide for my family. At a very young age, I knew that I wanted to work in the trade industry and follow in his footsteps. When I was younger, my father often mentioned how proud he was to have been, the, to have been able to build a house in high school through a construction class his senior year of high school. Through hearing his stories and fond recollections, I decided I wanted to have that memory and experience as well. When I got to high school, I took as many shop classes as possible and joined Skills USA. Skills USA is a leadership organization that creates opportunities for high school and college level students to explore the trade industry by competing in competitions and training programs. Throughout my time in the program, I won multiple engineering competitions and gained a lot of knowledge from advisors and judges. Following this success, I was selected to be my high school's representative at Wisconsin Badger Girls Democracy and Leadership Conference. These experiences, although enlightening and memorable, do not compare to the joy I felt my senior year when I was accepted into the Lincoln High School Building and Construction class. Led by my wonderful teacher, Terry Bores, Myself and 17 young men were granted the opportunity to build a house from the ground up for a great family. We spent half the school day at the job site learning life skills and building memories. As a result of that experience, I will forever be grateful, not only for the skills I gained, but also for making me realize I truly do enjoy working in the trades. When it came time to make the decision as to what I wanted to do to pursue my career, I had narrowed it down to a few options. However, a few of my teachers had previously suggested that I looked into becoming a lineman, so I figured I'd at least try. My uncle is a supervisor at our local power company, and he offered to let me come job shadow a lineman crew for a week. I really enjoyed my time there and felt that this career path was right for me. When looking into lineman programs and schooling, OSUIT wasn't originally on my radar. Being from Wisconsin, my initial plan was to stay up north. The first school I seriously considered was a tech school in Mitchell, South Dakota. I toured the school the fall of my senior year. Although the program was good, there were a few downfalls. First being that the program was only a year long and only resulted in a certificate. The second thing I did not like was that the campus did not have great on-site living options. Lastly, I did not like the location. I felt I would often be bored. Mitchell, South Dakota is in the middle of nowhere. There are no recreational options offered through the school, and unless you duck hunt, there's absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> After touring, I knew I wanted something different and started researching other options. Most of the schools in Wisconsin had a one to two year wait list, so I knew that staying local would not be an option. I have a family friend who wrestles at OSU in Stillwater, and he suggested looking into OSUIT's program. Although moving 12 hours away from home wasn't ideal, I figured I would at least look into it. I applied in November of my senior year as a last resort option. After months of considering my options and not liking them, my mother and I decided to schedule a last minute tour at OSUIT. Leaving Wisconsin during the middle of my senior soccer season, my mother, grandmother, and I could only pray that this trip would be worthwhile. Looking back on my decision to tour OSUIT in April of 2022, I had no idea how much the school would exceed my expectations. Upon arrival, I was immediately impressed. 
Not only was the campus more impressive than other ones I had previously looked at, but the staff was extremely welcoming. They explained in detail how the programs worked, broke down financial aid options, and told me about recreational sporting events and activities. Overall, it was incredibly helpful, and I got to talk to instructors and was informed about academic opportunities and scholarships. Compared to other alignment programs, the two most significant benefits of OSUIT were that you graduate with an associate's degree and have multiple paid internships throughout your two years of schooling. After talking with the instructors, advisors, and the dean, I felt more than welcome. Not only was the school tremendous, but the location was great too. With Tulsa being only a short drive away and the school's recreational options, I didn't have to wonder if I'd get bored. Overall, OSUIT had an appeal that other schools I'd seen had not provided. Almost immediately, although 12 hours away, I felt that this school wouldn't feel far from home. Deciding to go to OSUIT is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I thoroughly enjoy my classes and instructors. I am currently on my first internship at PSO AEP in Okmulgee, and it's going very well. I have only been interning for a few weeks, but I am greatly appreciative of how much I've learned about the high voltage industry and the company PSO AEP. A couple things I specifically like about PSO is their attention to safety and their employees' willingness to create a good working and learning environment. My crew has gone out of their way to teach me new life skills and are setting great examples as linemen, linemen I hope to one day become. I was granted the PSO AEP Diversity High Voltage Lineman Scholarship. This scholarship is an honor, and I wish to extend my sincere gratitude to PSO AEP. Not only does receiving this scholarship provide financial stability, but it's very encouraging to know that the company I am working for is in full support of women in the industry. Being a woman in this industry can be challenging, but with the support of PSO AEP, along with the outgoing support and encouragement I've received from OSUIT, I can confidently say I cannot wait to be a lineman. Thank you.